Amen. While we're standing, the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. The Lord is in his holy temple. Father God, we come this morning thanking you for <clears throat> bringing us into your house to give you nothing but honor, praise, and glory. Father, we ask that your Holy Spirit will remain in this house, that it will shake us up, lead us and guide us in this worship service. Father, if there's anything that will hinder us from lifting you up this morning, remove it right now in the name of Jesus. For you told us that if you would be lifted up, you would draw all men unto you. Now, Father, forgive us for any thought, word, or deed that they may have entered our hearts and our minds, that our worship may not be in vain. Give us a little more strength this morning, Father, to praise you, a little more voice to sing unto your name. And Father, we'll carefully give you all the glory, all the praise. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Let us stand for our morning hymn, if we know that one. What is it? No. Let us stand while they sing the morning hymn, amen? If you know it, we'll sing along with them. Six sixty two.
lights back on. So that's going to be our song for the month. Amen. Amen. Next month it will be a different opening hymn as we get back to the practices of the AM Zion Church. Amen. Amen. All right. Our responsive reading is 11th Sunday in Kingdom Tide, the Lord's Supper, Matthew 26, 26 through 36. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for remissions of sins. And when they had sang, sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. <clears throat> but after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. <clears throat> Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. All together, then come up Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and said unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go for the night. Repeating of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead. He is sinning into heaven, and sit upon the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence it come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the universal church, the communions of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. As we come for the ministry of kindness, we've asked those of you that are able uh, to help with this ministry of kindness by <clears throat> making a donation of $5 toward uh, this ministry. Uh, this ministry go and it help um, a lot of people. Amen. We thank you for those who are able to help. And we ask those that are not at this time, we still pray that God will bless every hand. Amen. The Urshas. Mm -hmm. 
Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust do corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust <laughs> do corrupt. Let us stand, all things come of thee, O oh Lord. All things Chosen generation, you are now may be dismissed to your class, chosen generation. Thank God for the chosen generation. Amen. That's the future of this church.
look at the empty spaces when the children get up and leave out. Amen. That means you need to bring somebody with you that fill into their space. Amen. Uh, the scripture reading will be taken from Romans 8. Romans chapter 8, verses 6 through 11. The word of God says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, but is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwell in you. The word of God for God's people. Amen. Amen. Let us prepare our hearts and minds for prayer. Father God, we come. First, Lord, to recognize that you're God and you're God all by yourself. Father, we come, Lord, knowing that it was because of you that we laid down last night. It was because of you that we slept throughout the night. Lord, it was because of you because for allowing us to get up this morning. It was because of you, Lord, that gave us our strength and our well-being and kept us in our right mind. Father, we thank you for everything that you have done, all the things that you plan to do. Father, we thank you even for your son, who you sent to die for us. Father, you've been so good, Lord, you've been better to us than we have been to ourselves. So, Father, we come not only to thank you, Father, but to praise you and to glorify you, Lord, because you've been so good to us. Father, we ask right now, Lord, that you will Heal those that are sick, that are a part of this church, Father. Those, those that are burdened down, Lord, with weights on their shoulders, Father, we ask that you would lift those heavy burdens. Lord, those that are depressed or confused right now, and we ask, Lord, that you will help them, Lord, this morning, Father. Those that may be in nursing homes, Father. We come right now. Lord, asking, Lord, that your miraculous power, Father, will stretch, Lord, wherever they are. Father, we come in Jesus' name, Lord, asking that your Holy Spirit, Father, will intercede on our behalf, Father, 
Father, I come praying for every member on this morning, Father. Some are in the need of prayer, Lord. There's some, Lord, that need you to move and do some things on their behalf. Father, we come lifting up those of our members that are in rehab right now. Lord, that you would help them, Lord, through. Give them the strength, Father. Give them the courage, Father. Lord, give them the ability, Father, to come out in Jesus' name. Father, those that are traveling, Lord, far and near, Father, we pray for traveling grace in the name of Jesus. You would take them and bring them back home safely, Father. Father, we come right now in Jesus' name. Lord, lifting up families to you right now. Lifting up broken families to you, broken homes to you right now. Father, asking that you would mend those homes back together in the name of Jesus. Broken relationships, not only at home, but within the church. Not only within the church, but on their job. Wherever they're broken, Father, we ask that you would put them back together. We lift up every member, Father, that are bereaving during this time, Lord, that need comfort in the name of Jesus. Father, we know that you can dry tears from eyes. Father, we know that you know how to embrace them with your love. We know, Lord, that you know how to whisper a, 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 a word of peace into their ears and into their hearts. Some has lost loved ones. Some has lost friends, Father. We pray that you will be with us. Now, Father, we ask, Lord, that you will search our cities right now in the name of Jesus. Our, our states right now, Lord, with so many things that are going on, Father, that, that you're not pleased with and we're not pleased with either, Father. We ask, Lord, that you would uh, uh, help them to turn, Lord, from wicked ways in, in the name of Jesus, Father. Help them. Lord, to seek your face in the name of Jesus, Father. Lord, help them to pray and, 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 and believe that you're able to heal this land. Father, help us to come together and be on one accord in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the church. Lord, we thank you for the preachers. We thank you for the elders, Father. We, we, we thank you for the bishops on, on this morning. Every member, Father, that believe that you died, Lord, for our, for, this, for our church, Father, and that you rose again, Father, and you're sitting on the right hand of God pleading for us. Now, Father, let your will be done, Father. Bless every member some in the need of financial assistance bless them financially some in the need father of work father bless them with the job lord some in the need of forgiveness father forgive them in the name of jesus some in the need of healing heal them in the name of jesus and father we ask it as we move forward through this earth that you would bless it, Father. That what we do, Father, that you will be pleased. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
cheat me this morning. It's okay. We'll make it up. Amen. Thank you, choir, for singing to the glory of God. Thank you, musicians, who have played to the glory of God. Amen. Our ushers who have stood at the door, our greeters who greeted those who allowed them to greet them. Amen. I'll, I forget about Brother Lavender outside, but I thank him for what he does for us. And all of you who um, play a role in making sure that the Lord's service is at hand. Amen. Amen. I got to give thanks to those who were here on Thursday night um, for Hallelujah Night. Those who couldn't make it, you was praying. For them, that's good. But those that were here, um, that was great. On yesterday, St. Peter uh, represented the Bradley family, those that were able. Our ushers did an awesome job over there. And our choir, our one lady choir, 
Roberta Madison. Lord have mercy. She sung like it was a whole lot of them up there with her. Amen. Isn't that right, Cinderella? When I tell you, I said, look, they, uh, they got a musician. She said, I don't need no musician. <laughs> Amen. She did. She represented um, our church. Um, we knew that it was last minute, and um, everybody had, some had obligations. So it still went well, a great home-going service. Um, spent um, a lot. They, they, they buried him in Gordo, so the travel was not only extensive, but they missed a turn. So we went eight miles further and had to come back eight miles. <laughs> Amen. So we got a lot of see a lot of grass and 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 cows and horses and Amen. But all in all it was a good day. Those of you that missed the um Leadership Academy, you missed some good teaching. Um we had our own brother uh Benny Smith uh teaching his stewards and they had others um um People from uh, um, the presiding elder from Korea came down, as, um, and we had uh, Ron Marshall and from Birmingham. Uh, but they had it was a great time. So he's going to be looking for you all at the next Leadership Academy. So I got a witness to let you know I told y'all about it. <laughs> a amen. <laughs> to those that may be visiting with us via social media, thank you. Uh, for being in our services on today. I'm good to see you, Reverend Abernathy. And um, uh, he, uh, presiding elder, gave the uh, preachers, uh, pastors, and ministers um, a class. And it was a very stern class. Amen. So, um, but he loved all the churches and all the pastors, all the members. So we appreciate him for that. This morning, um, we have a lineup meeting right after um, the Lord's Supper. So I'm going to try and be through in 10 minutes. So y'all help me, Sister Pat. Ask the Holy Spirit to help me. One verse out of Romans 8, verse number 6 says, For to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace I just want to talk this morning from the subject of mind is a terrible thing to waste God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth let us pray Father God I ask that you decrease me increase you increase your power increase your Holy Spirit let your word go forth. Let us not be hearers only, but be doers of your holy word. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen, amen, amen. Arthur Fletcher, a black Republican, graduated from Washburn University and obtained a degree from distance learning school at La Salle Extension University. In 1978, he ran for mayor of Washington, D.C. Anybody know who that is? But was defeated by a popular Democrat, Marion Barry, in 1995. He briefly pursued a bid for Republican presidential nomination. Don't forget to vote on Tuesday. Amen. So your voice will be heard. <coughs> Fletcher was a United States Army veteran during the World War II, and upon his death in 2005, was buried in the Arlington National Cemetery. Don't go to sleep on me. As head of the United Negro College Fund, Fletcher was rumored to have coined this famous slogan, a mine is a terrible thing to waste. I thought it was Frederick D. Patterson because I often see him say that. So I went and looked it up so I wanted to be right. And that's who it was. And Martin Luther King Jr. also quoted D. 
these words of mine is a terrible thing to waste. You know, when I had my first motorcycle accident in around 2005, my very first and only one, praise the Lord, there was a semi-truck that ran a red light, and I was coming parallel, and in order to keep from going under the truck, and the truck hitting me and killing me, I went off into the median. And when I went into the median, it was a down slope. I went over the handlebars, bike rolling laid down while I'm sliding down the hill, trying to grab something to stop. And once I was able to stop, after about 200 feet, no broken bones, no, no scratches, I geared up when I ride. I always have my, my gear on. Uh, I don't ride without it. Amen. I pray for those that be on a motorcycle with sandals and tennis shoes on, and, you know, because they don't know what it's like to fall off a bike. But after that incident, every time I got on another bike and I came into an intersection, my mind would go back to that accident. Years later, 10 years later, 12 years later, I just sold my, my last crotch rocket last year. Or was it this year? It was this year. And I still, when I get on a bike, when I approach an intersection, I see a truck, I see a car, my mind reflects back to that accident. I would feel like the ghetto boys when they made that song, my mind playing tricks on me. Every time it seemed like the devil was trying to get the victory of my mind, I would point my mind to the word of God. I started to feel better. I had to keep the faith because without faith, the Bible said, it is impossible to please God. I'm getting somewhere in a minute. Because with a carnal mind, the Bible said we cannot please him. But the word of God pleases the child of God that we might give God glory. I wish I had some help. Some people can't praise God because they're too scared. Folks run away from the things that God wants them to do. Listen, the devil will make you think that trusting God God is boring. Amen. I, I wish I had. And, and that God is keeping something from you. Uh, uh, he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Amen. He make you stay longer than you intended to stay. Somebody heard that before, right? And, and paying more than you intended to pay. He wants to play. He come to play with your mind. Remember when Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, and Sister Taylor, he, he told them, God said, you will not surely die he put that one word after god said you shall continue that. but when we use the word of god the way god intends for us to use it it pleases god it, it, it keeps us from loving and running after desires of the flesh. Amen. When we look at these verses Paul is talking about, uh, he, he, he's talking about being delivered. And some folks claim to have been delivered. However, their walk and their talk stay the same. You can ask them, how you doing? Oh, I've been delivered. I've been redeemed and bought with a price. Jesus has changed my whole life. But as soon as someone says something you don't like, amen, the first word out of your mouth, uh, I ain't there yet. God's still working on me. Y'all know that, right? Uh, you can't say you've been delivered, but there's no change have been made in your walk or, or your talk. If God has delivered you, but you haven't accepted the fact that you have been delivered, uh, that you, in fact, you're still holding on to that old man or that old woman. If that old man or that old woman still rules and run you, then the spirit of God haven't taken its proper place in your life yet. Verse 6 says the carnal mind is death, but the spiritual mind is life and peace. The mind does not distinguish between what is real and what is uh, uh, imaginary, because whatever's in your mind, that's your reality. Uh, you know, it, it may be true, it may be false, but it's in your mind, it's reality. Uh, uh, Proverbs 23 and 7 said, a man think of in his heart, amen, as he think of, so is he. 
Philippians said, let this mind be in you. Paul said that, which was also in Christ Jesus. Look, the mind is where the devil try and attack you and pull us away from God. Whether true or false, the, 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 the place, the destiny of a, of a person is in your mind. I got four quick points for you. Do I got three minutes left? I'm going to go over my ten minutes. I'm sorry. But the first one is follow the spiritual things of your mind. In verse 5, it said, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit, the desires of your mind must be changed. And brothers and sisters, if all in your mind is Netflix, movies, and chill, if all in your mind is uh, 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 the NFL uh, or Alabama or Auburn, amen, uh, don't, you know, those, those war birds didn't take off yesterday. I was intending to call Cherie last night and ask her about that. If all that's in your mind, amen, is he say, she say, and they say, if, if all that's in your mind is a soap opera or, or Facebook or TikTok, if all that's in your mind is Cat Williams and, and Kevin Hart and Bruce Bruce, if all that's filled in your mind is Chris Brown and Jay-Z and, and, and Beyonce and Mary J, if you're feeding your mind with all the stuff instead of the word of God, then your mind will never be where God needed to be. And at the dinner table, everybody's head is inside their phone, amen. Nobody's communicating with each other or, or looking at each other, even talking to each other. Then whatever you feed it in your mind, whatever they're looking at is in their mind. And whatever you feed your mind, what the reaction is, it will feed off of you. Uh, one of the problems today is many people follow the things that feed their mind. Uh, young people see things on YouTube and other sites, and, and it feeds their mind. And then they start to ask act like the things they see. I tell everybody when I was in, in, in college, I was still like Ice Cube and NWA. And the things that I would hear, Brother Wilson, I would begin to do. The, the things that I fed in my mind, amen, uh, I wasn't near a, 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 a brother with attitude. But I act like I was. The filth that goes in, the filth will come out, amen. Listen, the word is going, the, whatever word that get in you, the word that come out. That's why if we study and plant the Bible in us, amen, some of the things that we want to say, some of the things that we used to say, that let the word of God come out. Psalm 119, that word I hid in my heart that I might not sin against it. Amen. The word is like a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Uh, John 17, sanctify thy word with truth for your, that word is true. Follow the things of your mind. The second thing you need to do is follow the spiritual direction of your mind. Verse 6 said, to be carnally minded, it's death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. I'm almost through. For the carnal mind is death. That's headed in the wrong direction. For, but the spiritual mind is life and peace that's headed in the right direction. Uh, look, you must get away from negative influences. I wish I had some help in here that know that negative influences don't do nothing but bring us down. Get away from negative people because they will lead you in the wrong direction. Uh, that's just some folks you just have to stop communicating with because they're so negative. Uh, there's some family members and friends that you got to drop because they have a bad influence on everybody. Uh, there's some folks you just have to quit speaking to and keep on moving. Amen. Uh, because they're not spiritual minded. Paul said, if you have a spiritual mind, there's life and peace. And brother and sister, if you can't find life and peace in a person that you're communicating with, then that mind's not right. You got to be carnally minded. You can't be carnal minded, amen, and spiritual minded at the same time. You can't be headed in the right direction and the wrong direction at the same time. Uh, amen. Uh, 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 listen, if you hang around a call amount of folks, then you'll find yourself being pulled in the wrong direction, regardless of who they are. They can be your daddy. They can be your granddad. They can be your mother, your sister, your brother. If they weigh you down with bitterness and if they weigh you down with anything that is not right of God, then they lead you in the wrong direction. When I was putting this sermon together, I thought about Trent Richardson, you know, who played for the best team. 
in college football? Alabama. Amen. And I thought about when he got drafted in the NFL. And I said, I remember he had all his money and then he didn't have it. So I went and read the story. And I said, well, he said that his family and friends spent $1.6 million of his money in 10 months. He had $20.5 million dollar contract, but when he, in, when he entered the NFL, he said it was so scary to have that much money in the world and not be happy. He, he said he wasn't happy. Trent was paying his brother 100000 k to be his personal assistant. I was like, I wish I was his brother during that time. He, he brought his grandmother a house in Florida for 385000 he bought his own house. It was 825,000, six bedroom. He said he began to check his bank account and he discovered he had 11 Netflix accounts in his name. He had eight Hulu accounts in his name and, and several Amazon accounts and so many multiple transactions. He said that the, the money was suspicious, missing money out of his account that he had never got back and don't know where it went. And if you're not careful, People, even your loved ones, amen, will have you headed in the wrong direction. Everyone, everybody will not be happy for you, amen. Uh, everyone will not be excited for you when you make it to the top. Everyone will not be joyful for you when God is blessing you. God is doing a new thing in your life, and nobody but one person is going to be happy for you, and that's your pastor. <laughs> I'm going to be so happy because you're coming to church. <laughs> And the tithing has increased. <laughs> and the ministry of kindness have come up. So Paul said, we follow the spiritual things of your mind. Follow the spiritual direction of your mind. Then follow the spiritual devotion of your mind. In verse 7, he said, because the carnal mind is enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can it be. When we are saved, our spirits are sealed off. I'm almost through. Don't go, don't, don't go to sleep on me yet. The, the saved souls shall never sin from the point on because the word says that they're saved and they're sealed until the day of redemption. If you are saved, the spirit should never be lost. Y'all hear me? If you say you're saved, your spirit should never be lost. Amen. Because your saved soul is sealed off and sin is forgiven when you ask God for forgiveness. But in your flesh, in your outward self, can easily sin willfully and unwillfully. And in my flesh, I could sin by thought, word, or deed every day. But listen, the sin that you do in your flesh, since you are saved from God, God will correct you and discipline you because he loves you. And church, I would rather God's hand of correction be on me than any man. Amen. Uh, I would rather his hand to be on me than to be off of me and away from me. When God's hand is on you, amen, it may not feel good, but it's good for you. In the Old Testament days, a person activity was a work of the hands. The hand was a symbol of power. And when you're in with someone's hand, you come under their authority. And the Bible teaches us that it was God's hand that the universe was created. In Isaiah 48, it was God's hand that laid the foundation of the earth his right hand spread out in the heavens uh, when God's hand is present uh, there's joy and victory uh, shouts of joy and victory uh, resound the hands uh, in Psalm 118 the Lord's right hand uh, has uh, done mighty things uh, when God's hand touches our lives uh, all your needs will be met amen uh, Psalm 145 uh, you open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing uh, when we have God's hand prints on our lives uh, we have his support uh, 
Psalm 37 said, if the Lord delights in a man ways, uh, he makes his steps firm. Uh, he will not stumble. Uh, he will not fall. Uh, for the Lord uphold his hand. And as I close, uh, we have one, follow the spiritual things of your mind. Uh, follow the spiritual direction. Uh, follow the spiritual devotion. And the last thing, follow the spiritual decision. Not the car. Not the corner decision. Excuse me. Follow the spiritual decision. Verse 8 and 9 says, So then, they are pleased, they are in the flesh, cannot please God. But ye who are in, who are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Christ. He has none of this. Look, our flesh can be evil if we let it. And there's a never-ending battle between the flesh and the spirit. Verse 8 says that they're in the flesh and it cannot please God. Which says to me, when you walk in here on Sunday morning and don't allow the spirit to intervene, amen, and let the flesh remain, it cannot please God. You should keep on entertaining yourself with those fleshy desires if you come in here without it, amen. But listen, I'm not saying that none of us fall into sin, amen. That's not what I'm saying. But Paul told us that every time he had a desire to do good, evil was always present. He said, the good that I would do, I find myself not doing it. But the bad, the evil things that I, I, I shouldn't do, that's what exactly what I did. Brothers and sisters, it's, it, it's a daily fight that keep the flesh from taking over. And, and sometimes the flesh win. Um, uh, it causes us to feel bad and, and God is not pleased. But sometimes my spirit win and that caused me to feel good uh, because God is pleased. Uh, when I feel my coffee cup on uh, on Monday morning on Tuesday amen when I when I get to work uh, I can't get nothing else in it brother Smith uh, 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 because it's full uh, unless I drink something out of it or pour out something uh, but when you're filled with something amen uh, can't nothing else get in it uh, when you're filled with the flesh uh, the spirit can't get in uh, when you're filled with the spirit uh, the flesh can't get in uh, I wish I had a witness uh, when I drink the coffee uh, I don't refill it with milk uh, I refill it with coffee uh, when the spirit get uh, uh, get the best of me uh, uh, I refill it with the Holy Spirit amen uh, I I thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, if I pour out my spirit, uh, I replenish it with the spirit. Uh, if I pour out the flesh, uh, I refill it still with the spirit. Uh, look, I get full on Sunday mornings, uh, full of the Holy Spirit. Uh, when the choir is singing, uh, they fill up my spirit. Uh, when I see you shouting, uh, it fill up my spirit. Uh, when I hear the word of God, uh, it fill up my spirit. Uh, in my flesh, in this body, uh, I struggle to do everything right. Uh, but when I call on God uh, for the Holy Spirit uh, it get down in me uh, and cause me uh, to do what's right uh, and when the Spirit lead us right uh, you don't have to try to get the credit uh, by yourself uh, because the Bible said uh, the Spirit of God uh, that the world in you uh, it will uh, do some things uh, verse 9 said uh, if you have not the Spirit uh, he is she is not in him uh, but if you call yourself a Christian uh, you should have the Spirit of God uh, the world in you, uh, but everyone are not Christians. Uh, there's some of you uh, that are not children of God. Uh, there's some uh, that don't have the spirit, uh, but those that uh, call themselves Christians uh, have been born again uh, and bought with a price. Uh, the spirit in you. Uh, God still love you. Uh, amen. Uh, they might not do everything right, uh, but you got the right relationship. Uh, we may not say everything right, uh, but we have a relationship with God uh, because there's something about 
our relationships, uh, no matter how mad I get uh, with my children, uh, no matter how mad I get uh, with my spouse, uh, no matter how bad I get uh, with my brother, uh, I'm still in a relationship with her. Uh, and if I can have a relationship with my children, uh, if I can have a relationship with my mother and my father, uh, what a great relationship uh, that you can have with your heavenly father. Uh, look, if God uh, can put up with my ways, uh, if God can put up with my attitude, uh, if God can put up with my beliefs, uh, if God can put up with my stories, uh, if he can put up with my laziness, uh, if he can put up with my ego, uh, if he can put up with my selfishness, uh, if he can put up with my impatience, uh, if he can put up with my grumbling uh, and my complaining, uh, if God can forgive me for my mess ups uh, and my relationship with him, uh, why should I uh, be so unforgiving uh, in my relationship with somebody else? Uh, if you can't have mercy on somebody else, uh, don't expect God to have mercy on you. Uh, but God has forgiven uh, and freed you. Uh, you're freed indeed. Uh, so don't keep beating yourself up uh, or holding yourself back uh, against uh, yourself uh, because God is no longer holding you up. Uh, free your mind and let it go. Uh, God know what's going on in your mind. Uh, don't waste it on foolishness. Uh, Luther Barn wrote a song. I'm almost through. Luther Barn wrote this song. And I guess it's been written. But I heard it for the first time two weeks ago. I got heaven on my mind. And I listened to that song and I kept playing it back. And I kept playing it back. I said, when did they make this song? And I done fell in love with that song. He said he's determined that he have a, ha a made-up mind, Sister Steele. He said, I'm determined I got a made-up mind. I can't stand around wasting my time. He said he's going to keep on working for Jesus because heaven is on our mind. And then I thought about Reverend Robert Smith and, and Dorothy Williams when they wrote the song, I Got a Mind to Live for Jesus all of my days and then last night i'm listening to it and i'm up early this morning at five so I, and I, I, i'm listening to it uh and folks it, it, it god told me to tell you that we need to make our minds up to live for jesus amen uh if you want to live for jesus make up your mind on this morning uh he's the first and the last i'm closing uh he's the right now and the after while make up your mind uh jesus is early in the morning and, and late in the evening we need to make up our minds uh, amen you know who i'm talking about uh the Alpha and the Omega, uh, the bread of life, Jesus, uh, the conqueror of life, Jesus, amen. Make up your mind and, and live for him. Uh, he's everlasting to everlasting. Uh, make up your mind and, and live for Jesus. Uh, he's God all by himself. Uh, make up your mind and, and live for Jesus. Uh, he's eternal, uh, amen. He's a, a high, high priest. Uh, make up your mind uh, and live for Jesus. Uh, he's our Emmanuel, uh, our door to the heaven. Uh, make up your mind uh, and live for Jesus uh, the Lord of Lords uh, the Lamb of Lambs uh, the King of Kings uh, our master uh, our motivator uh, make up your mind uh, and live for Jesus uh, he's the truth and he's the life uh, he's everlasting uh, he's our yesterday uh, our today and forever make up your mind and live for Jesus I'm through but I got one more verse I got to read it ain't in my sermon, but it's in my heart. It said, and if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of righteousness. That tells me before you give someone a piece of your mind. I still ain't found out what a piece is yet. But people say that. I'm going to give you a piece of my mind. I'm still trying to figure how they're going to take their mind out and give them a piece and put it back in. So they just. But I guess they said, I'm going to give you a few choice words if you really don't want to give you. But Jesus said to Paul, let your mind be spiritual. Think spiritually before you think carnal. The devil can easily say, oh yeah, they said something about you and your child and your mom and your daddy that 
You get on them right now. But Jesus said, think about it before you say it. Because once you get it out, you can't take it back. Amen. The doors of the church is open. Let us stand. There's someone here looking for a church home. We, we're looking for a few, few great men and women. Amen. The Lord's been knocking at your heart. He's been knocking at your door. Saying, come on. Don't leave here today to say. If you have a church home and you just need prayer, the altar's open. We'll pray for you on this morning. You tell us to pray for one another, love one another, forgive one another. Amen, sister. This is my mama here. I hop ain't been the same since she left. This was my waiter. I didn't even know she was a member of St. Peter. Amen. Eternal God, our Father, creator of the ends of the earth, father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our God, our master, and our creator. Eternal Lord, as we endeavor to come to the altar of thy presence, Lord, we first just bow our heads down just to say thank you. Thank you for being able to come boldly unto the throne of grace to seek help to find grace in the time of need. Thank you, dear Master, for how you have been so good to us. And then, Lord, I can already remember in your word, dear Master, where you, you already have blessed her because she don't even come for prayer for herself. Yes. But she come on behalf of another. Yes, thank you, Father. Father, in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Lord, there have been many people praying for us. We didn't even know who. Yes. We didn't even know how. Yes, and the prayers got through, and all we could do was just look back and say it was God. Yes. But, Lord, we are ever so thankful, even now, for just somebody standing in the gap on our behalf. Yes. And, Lord, in Jesus' name, whatever the situation is, Lord, according to your word, Jeremiah 32, 27, there's nothing too hard for you. Master, have mercy in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would just bless, amen, the daughter of this, this mother. Father, bless her in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we just lift her up and we turn her hand over into your hands that you might take that life and present it to yourself as a as a spirit of wisdom would lead you, dear Master. And Father, we only would just give you praise, the honor, the glory, and all that would come out of it because we know that there's nothing too hard for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, bless her. Raise her up. Strengthen her. Father, bless her mind. Let this mind be in us that was also in you, dear Master. Father, in, in Jesus' name, give her that perfect peace that passes all of our understanding. Father, and we just thank you right now because we know in Jesus' name, we know. And this is the confidence that we have in you, dear Master, that if we ask anything in your name, that you would do it. 
In Jesus' name, Lord, thank you tonight. Thank you today. Thank you, Master. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we just thank you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the precious Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah and amen. It's now time for our tithe and offering. If the stewards would come, please. Thy gifts.
do good and to communicate, forget not, for with such sacrifices God is well pleased. Let us stand. If anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he is the perpetuation, atoning sacrifice for our sins and not for ours only, but for the sins of the whole world. Wherefore, you that do truly and earnestly repent of your sins are in love and harmony with your neighbors and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God, walking from henceforth in his holy way, draw near with faith. And take the holy sacraments to your comfort and devoutly merely making your humble confessions to Almighty God. <laughs> Almighty God. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartfully sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Most merciful Father, for thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life to the honor and glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of your great Mercy has promised forgiveness of our sins to all who with heartly repentance and true faith turn unto you. Have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all of our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom our hearts are open, all desires known and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thought of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. We do not presume to come to this, your holy table, O merciful Lord, trust in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies, we are not worthy so much as to gather the crumbs under your table, but you are the same, Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat of the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may live and grow hereby, and that being washed through his most precious blood, we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made thee by his oblation of himself, once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and sa satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel, command us to continual or perpetual memory of his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we humbly beseech thee, and grant that we, receiving these thy creatures of bread and wine, according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed holy body and blood, who in the same night in which he was betrayed, Amen. And when he had given thanks, he took the bread in his hand and he broke it and said, take, eat, this is my body. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise, also, he took the cup. After he had given thanks, he gave it to them, said, 
drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as ye eat it and drink it in remembrance of me. Together, it is very meek and right and our bound for the duty that we should at all times and all places give thanks unto thee. O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, therefore with angels and archangels.
absence of Alma Hill, we, I don't think we're missing Miss Kennedy's coming up. We want to pray for Sister Hill as part of the deaconess board. In fact, the leader. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we come lifting up our sister Hill, our deaconess, Father. Praying for continued strength, praying for continued healing. Bless her, bless her family, her children. And Lord, bring her back, Father, uh, once you get the strength. In Jesus' name we ask, amen, amen, amen.
O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, we, your humble servants, desire your fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Most humbly asking you to grant that by the merits and death of your Son and our Savior Jesus Christ and through faith in his blood, we and your whole church may obtain the forgiveness of sin and all other benefits of his passion. And we offer and present unto you, O Lord, our souls and bodies to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice, humbly asking you that who are partakers of his holy communion may be filled with your grace and heavenly benediction. And although we are unworthy through many sins to offer unto you any sacrifice, yet we ask you to accept this as our obligation to ministry and service, not weighing our merits, but pardon our offenses. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, and honor and glory be unto you. O Father Almighty, were without end. Amen. Let us stand. All together. Glory. Amen. This concludes the Lord's Supper. You may be seated. Good afternoon, and these are the announcements for Sunday, November the 3rd, 2024 at St. Peter AME Zion Church. The annual St. Peter lineup meeting will be held today immediately after the morning worship service. There will be a rededication of Mount Olive AME Zion Church today at 2 o'clock p.m. And the guest speaker is Presiding Elder Reverend Jeffrey L. Cammon. Tomorrow, the Tuscaloosa Bessemer District will be hosting a lay council meeting at 6.30 p.m. at Tabernacle AME Zion Church. Then on Tuesday, St. Peter AME Zion Church will be providing rides to the polls for everyone to vote from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So please make your voice heard and don't miss out. Members can call 205-759-2702 to schedule a ride. Also on Tuesday, Children, Youth, and the Chosen Generation Choir Rehearsal will be held at 6 o'clock p.m. Then join us for the weekly prayer teleconference call this Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m. Wednesday, November the 6th, Adult Bible Study will be held at 6 p.m. via Zoom as we continue to study the book of Hosea, the 13th chapter. Children and Youth Bible Study will also be held this Wednesday at 6 p.m. via Zoom as well. There will be a preacher's class each Wednesday immediately after Bible Study via Zoom to study Spiritual Leadership Principles of Excellence for Every Believer by J.O. Sanders. Then on Thursday, November the 7th, Reverend Freeman will be visiting the sick and shut-in members from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So members are asked to please contact Sister Mildred Rouser to schedule a visit. Attention all class leaders and assistant class leaders, the Uplifting Sisters Ministry invites you to a faithful intercessors prayer gathering on Friday, November the 8th at 6 o'clock p.m. via teleconference call. Then on Sunday, November the 10th, the Tuscaloosa Besma District will be hosting a CD Thankful Praise Service at 3 o'clock p.m. at Spring Hill AME Zion Church. Then on Tuesday, November the 12th, Reverend Belinda Wilson will be hosting a women's Bible study 
Gospel should be held on every second and fourth Tuesday from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. via teleconference call. Then also on Tuesday, November the 12th, the Tuscaloosa Bessemer District WHOM Society will be hosting a women's book study on the book titled The Resolution for Women by Priscilla Shira. This book study will be held at 6.30 p.m. via Zoom. November the 17th, the Tuscaloosa Bessemer District will be hosting the Young Adult Missionary Society Founders Day program, which will be held at 3 o'clock p.m. at Tabernacle AME Zion Church. Thank you to the church members who donated, volunteered your time, and prayed for the success of the 2024 CD Hallelujah Christian Fun Night. Special thanks to the coordinator, Sister Tiffany Taylor Davis, Sister Ivan Taylor, and Youth Director, Sister Sarah Taylor. It was a great success, and we appreciate all of your support. To our visitors, we offer you words of welcome. So, dear guests, our doors are always unlocked and open. So come on in. This is the house of the Lord, and he is our host. We are all here by the same invitation. And since we share the Lord in common, let's be sure to greet each other after the parting blessing. So on behalf of Reverend Patrick and Mrs. Shandra Freeman, we would like to say thank you for visiting with us today. Join us next week for the Sunday prayer call at 8.15 a.m., Sunday school at 9 a.m., morning worship service at 10 a.m., and the Chosen Generation U Church service during the 10 a.m. service. We thank you for worshiping with us today, and we pray that you have a blessed, safe, wonderful week ahead, and please continue to pray for all of our sick and shut-in members. Good afternoon. Let me um, also give a special thanks to all of the entire church for last Thursday. You know, I was amazed at how they decorate the cars. You know, I've seen, you know, people, when they call the Hallelujah Night, they just pull up in the parking lot and pop their trunk. If you want candy, you get candy. But they decorated those cars. I mean, when I tell you all about Jesus, I was excited. Thank you again for the, um, the wisdom that you all have when it comes. I, so I can tell the educators. You know, you just look at it and tell that they're educators. Thank you again. Um, do we have anybody visiting with us today? Any special guests? Do we have any other announcements? All right, don't forget Tuesday. Those of you that are able to vote, have registered to vote, and can vote, please get out and, and vote. Amen? Um, your voice means something. Your vote means something. Amen? There, oh, I need to stress that um, we, uh, the bus is available, the van, for those that need a ride. Um, to the polls, please contact Mildred Rouser. Amen. Along with that prayer list that was up, we want to make sure we continue to pray for uh, Mildred Rouser's brother had a stroke um, either this morning or last night in Atlanta. So he's in, uh, it was yesterday. Thank you, Sister Sanders. It was yesterday. I got a text this morning. He's in Grady Hospital in Atlanta. So keep them prayed up. Janie Dudley, of course, they buried their loved one yesterday. Comfort. Martha Leonard is here. I went to visit her last week. She go home today. Wanted to be here today, but for whatever reason she couldn't. So um, keep them lifted up in prayer. Sister Nina Patton uh, is out of town traveling. I know the choir knows, but the church may not. Keep her lifted up. Kevin and Stewart 
Kevin and Bernetta Stewart um, traveled to Birmingham today for um, a granddaughter getting baptized. Um, and then Reverend Eastman wasn't feeling well. Alfred Williams is back uh, in Tuscaloosa, pray, uh, Northport, praise the Lord. <laughs> After five weeks in UAB, he's over at Aspire Room 224. If you want to call or go by and see him, um, he would be happy to see you. And Minister Wilson is home ill. Um, she fell at work and uh, had to be transported. To the, to the hospital, uh, back injuries and leg injuries to keep her lifted up. So it was just me and Alvin after the day. Y'all ain't used to seeing that, huh? But the Lord um, is still good, so keep them lifted up. And um, I'm going to get off as I got to be going by 2 or before 2 to be over as well as Brother Smith to be at um, Mount Olive today. I don't know what they were thinking when they put it on first Sunday. Communion Sunday, <laughs> and then we have line up. So, um, all you w after that. Um, so we're gonna try and be brief and move on. Um, if there's nothing else, let us stand. We'll do the benediction. If you got, if you and you can sit on back down. Those that want to stay up for the lineup meeting, and we'll try and be brief. Um, God be with you until we meet again. Make sure you tell someone you love them. If you don't love them, tell them God's working on you. Amen. Please be seated for the, for the benediction. Father God, we thank you for your word today. We thank you for your presence of your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your people. Father, we pray, Lord, as we leave this place, when we leave, you will get us to our different destinations safely. Father, we pray that you would cover us with your blood. Keep your angels camped around us all week long. Block us from the fiery dots of the devil. And keep our mind intact, Father, that we may put you first in all that we do. Order our hearts, our mind, and our spirits. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, will rest and abide in all of our hearts. It is in Jesus' name that we ask. Amen, amen, amen.